Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using in a second. First thing I wanted to show you was this. I have a little hack for my red iguana hand. Sometimes I find that with the full well insertion here, you're gluing generally a tip onto a tip. So you're gluing plastic onto plastic. So I've gone ahead and used a pH balancer, like I've used my, my protein bond, I've used my primer, um, but sometimes the glue just doesn't always hold. And I wanna do a full, <laughs> I wanna do a full set today and I wanna be able to file on them. I want them to hold. I've had them come off before. It's not fun. It just kind of ruins everything and I end up scrapping usually the video because it's just not cool. So I have glued, I have held down, I've waited a, a specific amount of time, I've let them air dry, I ate my lunch. You know, it did all the things. But I went one step further with these tips. So I'm gonna take this one out and show you. I have taken my Glitter Bells glass slippers, clear acrylic, you could use any acrylic, and I have put a bead right there. It goes from side to side. I've just patted it in, brush separated. My brush is a bit dry. I patted it in and I allowed it to dry. I did this to all four nails. I'm not doing the fifth, I'm not doing the thumb. I typically don't, Just I, I just typically don't. And then when I put that back in, I can put all these back in now, I can be fairly certain that when I file on this, they are not going to come off. So that is my tip for you today. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I plan on using. It doesn't mean it's what I'm going to use, but I have my hand. The full tips are Enail Couture 123 Go Eternal Beige Almond Tips. My brush today is a number eight of the new Glitter Bells brushes, similar to a number 10 in their older brush. I am using glass slippers as my clear. I will be using plush cover as my cover powder. I kind of have in my head where I want it to go. I tend to wing it with these things. I'm gonna be using ice white. I'd like to use pink crush. Uh, I pulled Barbie candy because I really like this one. So I'm sure you can see a theme by now this is baby girl crush so those are all pinks and a white I'm also going to be using I think Saturn because it's really cool and chunky and to throw a little mix into things I'm gonna be using sky blue so I wanted these to be really light airy kind of glittery so if you think that is something that is going to interest you please stay tuned guys welcome back if you guys are returning to my channel you know that I have a glitter bells discount code for 10% off from the nail throne um, the nail throne .com and the excuse me the code is liquid chrome and that gives you 10% off of glitter bells with the exception of the monomer so that's really cool especially in a time like right now when every penny counts not that it always doesn't this is the Glitter Bells Violet Monomer. So I've already got that poured. I was playing in a little bit of acrylic earlier and I have a little bit of the kind of glittery stuff left over from the pink opal shimmer. So that's what that is. I didn't change it out because my client doesn't care. Let's get this started. So I have a picture on my iPad. I'm not very good at coming up with my own, um, not designs in general, but just my own Oh, I don't know, designs, I guess. Yeah, I guess designs is the way to say it, but I'm just not very good at coming up. I like to look at something, even if it's nothing, 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 like what I end up doing, most of the time it isn't. I always like to look at something. So I'm opening up all of my acrylics, which basically I just hauled out my entire pink collection, so that's fun. That's fine, everything's fine. I'm going to get started. The first thing I am going to do is use my plush cover. I picked plush cover because a lot of the acrylics that I picked to use, the colored acrylics are shimmery and I didn't want, I wanted it to be more flat. So I am just going to lay that down, dry my brush out a little bit. Push it from side to side. 
and then bring it up through. Now, fortunately for me, this little lady here doesn't really care if her nails last. So I'm not actually building these up. I will be putting an apex on and that sort of thing when I do my clear at the end, but the shape is already there. This is me, you know, practicing my marble, practicing my designs, kind of getting the creative feel. Um, things have been a little stressful lately in the world and I feel like that kind of takes the creativity out of me. And this was just bringing her back. I wanted to see a little creative from myself. So that's what I'm doing. I am going to start out with a small bead of blue, a small bead of pink. Sorry if I get some of these names wrong as I'm going. I don't quite know them all just yet. Sometimes they elude me. And I am gonna come the opposite way pull up through and back down through, kind of focusing on that white. Then at the end of this, I'm just gonna pull it all forward to be able to smooth it out. Now, I wanna leave this little marbly part here. That's what I was going for. That's what I wanted. So I'm gonna give that a second to dry. One thing I do find when you're working really wet like this, when you're trying to do a marble, um, Oftentimes I don't let it dry just quite enough and then I kind of end up in a mess because I'm pushing into the stuff that I've already put on and I don't wanna do that today. Don't want any mess up today. Coming in again with another blue, then coming in with one of my glittery pinks and my brighter pink. Make sure my brush is wiped off. I am gonna pat this down a little bit because I know that as I push it, my blue is going to be more prominent and I would kinda of like to see that. Now, I, for the moment, am gonna let this dry up a little bit more. Then I am going to come back in with, I think, think, I think, I think my Saturn. And I'm going to pull it into here. Actually, I'm gonna do that part right now because that's already dry. Keep in mind when you're working with Saturn or some of the bigger, chunkier iridescents that you need to work quite wet with them. Now I am picking up such a little teeny tiny bit. I'm not picking up very much at all. I want full control over this and I find the only way to keep full control for me is to pick up the teeniest, tiniest bit. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. I just ran it right along that edge. So now the upper part of the nail that I've just finished is dry and I am going to run a little bit of it along this edge as well. Oh, I love it when things turn out how I want. I also love to wing nail art. So sometimes, you know what, to be honest with you, sometimes things don't turn out. Actually, quite often things don't turn out. Let's go into our next nail, which I am going to do kind of similar, except none of my cover pink at the bottom. Instead, I'm using my pink crush. And that is what I'm going to start with. These crushes, oh, I could never pick a favorite. They are all my favorite. Oh yeah, that's amazing. So believe it or not, I haven't really decided yet what I wanna do with this nail, but I th think I just did. Okay, so I started this kinda, let's say ass backwards, but I come in with my blue,
bring my blue up and it's kind of mixing in with the pink crush and you know what i'm here for it i kind of like it i kind of like it a lot i'm going to put a little bit more blue on because i do want it to fully cover oh yeah oh yeah okay now i'll come back in with more of my pink crush to do the fade from the bottom up because I do want my pink crush covering. There we go, just like that. Oh, that's perfect. You know what, I don't think I'll end up using any of those rainbow flakes that I dug out at all. I think I'm gonna use Saturn Clear Through. And I just dropped a big chunk of it in my monomer. This is what filming is, guys. <laughs> dropping, dropping chunks of monomer into your, into your glitter. It happens. Happens to the best of us. Okay, and I'm gonna put some Saturn right in that. Even though I didn't really need it, there was no need to blend extra right there. Ah, perfect. Okay, so my next nail. I am going to start out with a little bit of my cover. Just a little, just laying down a base. Doesn't have to be anything spectacular. Not overly even. I got a little bit of Saturn in it. That's okay, because that's actually what I want to put on top of it. So I'm going to pick up quite a bit more Saturn than I have been picking up. And I'm going to lay it right over that cover. And then just push it around, push it up to the cuticle. Pull it back a little bit. Let it kind of sink in to the plush cover. Perfect. A little bit more for the cuticle line. Yep, that is exactly. Now I want to do a bit of a marble again. So I'm going to lay down my pink, my blue, and more white this time. Last time I didn't use very much. The white dripped, which is actually hilarious because normally I work my marbles too dry. Now I want way more pink into that. I My white buried my pink. So while it's still wet, that actually worked in my favor. I like that. And I want a little bit more blue, just a little bit, and I'm gonna put it right on the outer side. This is actually how I prefer to do marbles, is laying something down and then laying more over top, rather than putting it all on at the same time. I mean, at the end of the day, it is whatever works for you, and that does seem to work best for me. I seem to have more control. Oh, that's awesome. Do you not love when it's exactly what you want? Okay, now the next thing I'm gonna do is come back in with just a little bit more of the Saturn and I'm gonna pull it, place it down, just move it around a little bit just to get it moving and then pull it up over my marble just a titch right there just to make it all blend in together. I'm gonna start it with some blue and lay it down along the cuticle and up the side, pull it over. Make sure it's even. And I'm gonna lay down some pink, kind of on the other side. Pull it up.
just kind of puzzle piecing these together. Bringing them up the nail. Over the pink, I'm gonna use some Baby Girl Crush. And I'm just gonna work it through where the pink is. It's okay if it overlaps. And this nail at the end is going to have a lot of crystal work on it because it's the one with the least amount of glitter. So that's how I decide in my mind. Now I'm going to come through and I'm going to completely cap these with the glass slippers from Glitter Bells. So I'm only really gonna show one or two and then I'm going to, I'll probably just show the one actually, this one, and then I'm going to carry on off camera. And I will be doing my finished filing off camera as well simply because I feel like it's kind of hard to watch and there are so many finished filing videos out there that I think this one will just stick to the acrylic. So I'm gonna put a bead near the tip, push it kind of side by side, Bring it forward, making sure everything's covered. Then coming in at the mid mark. I don't think that it matters how many beads you use so long as you get it done properly. Of course, there is a, a limit there. Too many is too many, but if you're going to use one, that's great as long as it works well for you. If you're going to use two, fine. Three, fine. I might use three on this small nail and then I might use two on all the rest. It just depends on the day and the humidity and all those things. So don't ever think that in order to be perfect you have to do it with a certain amount of beads. That's just certainly not true. Okay, so I'm going to sign off for a minute and finish this up and I will see you when the big reveal happens and the crystals. Okay, welcome back. Now I have these finished filed and I've just wiped them with a little bit of acetone and I am going to do my crystal design down in this corner. So I've got my Pammy, Picky, pick, p -p 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 Pammy Picker Upper. I have my little dish for crystals. These are very helpful. I have my stick it from Ugly Duckling, which I love a micro swab and I have my crystals. So what I'm using is my crystal, which is 12, 16 and 20 in size. I'm going to put those in there so that I can sift through the different sizes. I'm also using rose peach shimmer, which is actually quite pink. I have a size five and a size nine in there. And I also have SS3s in both the crystal AB and the crystal regular. So there's three, five, and seven in here. I'm likely only going to use the smaller ones, but things change. So things change on the fly. So we've talked a little bit about crystal placement lately. Some of us girls. So I thought I would just give you the rhyme to reason as to what I do when I'm placing crystals. I'm gonna twist her finger around a little bit, which is what I would normally do if she was a client. Anyhow, I'm going to take my stick it, which I actually got probably way too much of, but we're just gonna deal with it. And I'm going to spread it along the area where I want the crystals. I'm gonna pick up my biggest crystals first. So I really do want one of the great big ones, the 20s. Pick it up and I'm gonna set it down. I'm gonna put it right in the middle of where I want these crystals to go. So I want the crystals to be here and here. So now that I've got that bigger crystal in place, a lot of times I'll come back and wish stick it and I will extend where I have it because a lot of times I think I have too much on there and then once I get the bigger crystal on, like too much as far as like too much space, too much volume of it, covering too much space, you know, you know what I'm saying. And then after you get your bigger crystal on, you realize, oh, okay, well, I don't really have as much as I thought. Then I'm going to come in with a couple of the smaller ones. So I had told you I have 20, 16, and 12. I'm going to come in with a couple of 16s on either side because I want this to be bold. 
So there, I have my three. Look how shiny those are, it's great. Then, I am actually going to open this back up, pour these back in here, and put the cover back on so that they don't get spilled. Often that's sometimes, I forget about that, and then everything's everywhere. So I had said I have two sizes of these. I have a five and a nine. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of my stick it because again, this is going a lot further than what it did in my mind when I first started putting it on, which is okay. So then I'm going to fill in these grooves. I have these little grooves in between them and I wanna fill them in. So I'm going to use the smaller of the rows and I'm gonna put them right in there to give them a little extra color. Then I can use my tip to push these back together. They tend to get pushed when I lay them down. Sometimes I lay them down a little harshly. Then I'm going to use a bigger of the peach and set him right in the middle. So that is starting to give me more of a clustered look. I'm going to put those back in and I'm going to dump out a few of my little guys and I'm going to use them. Okay, I'm gonna use the ABs the number three ABs. So where I'm putting these is in your empty spots, down at the cuticle. Now don't worry, that's gonna push everything aside and I can push it all right back because this has not been cured yet. Try not to get in the way of the camera. Put one in this empty spot here and again, push them all back to where I need them. You can move them around a little bit. You have a little bit of leeway. I'm all, I always am trying to be careful to not get any stick it on the end of my tool that I'm picking up with. Does make it difficult sometimes not to pick up the gem, but to actually set it down. Then I'm filling in some empty spots here. And what I'm going to do is bring it right out front and I'm gonna take these little guys, the crystal ABs, and I'm going to draw a circle with them right around that last pink one. There. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit. And there you have the cluster, look how shiny that is, it's perfect. And I'm going to put this in the light to give it a full cure. Okay, now for the part that everyone waits for, I have cured my Swarovski crystals that I have actually gotten from uh, Nail Art Supplies. I'll try to remember to link them down below. I have my, sorry, I'm zoomed in. I have my Glitter Bells No Wipe Top Coat, which again, using my Liquid Chrome discount code, you can get 10% off of. So, the big reveal. I love this part. This is my favorite part when I'm watching other people's tutorials. Oh, that's lovely. So if you have any questions about anything I've used here, feel free to ask down below in the comments. If you has, ha, has if you, if you has ideas or color schemes that you would like to see done, just let me know if I have it. I'll be more than happy to do it. Oh yeah. We're pushing right up against these crystals, but not going over them. It'll take the shine away if we go over them. So pushing right up two, right up two, and then bringing them down. So thanks so much for watching. I truly appreciate you. I will follow with pictures of the end product and I hope you have a great week.